Do you want to impress some scouts? You do. Well then keep watching the rest of this video because we're going to go over how to impress soccer scouts. All right, so I'm going to go over some ideas that can apply to players in individual positions, so like striker, center mid, defender, and all that. But first, let's go over some of the general attributes and things that you're going to need in order to impress scouts that come to your games. Okay, number one thing that scouts are going to be looking for when they come to watch you play is, do you have work ethic? Scouts are not going to want to recruit lazy players. They're also going to look at how your work ethic is not only when you attack with the ball, but when you defend as well. They'll also take a look at what you do off the ball. Are you making good runs? Are you getting back? What are you doing when you don't have the ball? So for example, are you making runs or are you standing still? Are you hustling back to get to your position or are you just kind of lazily jogging back to position? The great thing about work ethic is it's something that can be learned and it's as much a mental attribute as a physical one. Try to get yourself to the point where you are the hardest working player on the pitch. And if you do that in combination with the rest of the tips I'm about to give you, you'll have plenty of scouts paying attention to you. Next thing scouts will look for is how is their mentality? This is a more important area than players usually realize, and in fact, work ethic can sometimes be categorized into this area. They'll look for things like, what do you do when you lose the ball? Do you hustle back and try and get it back? Or do you kind of throw your hands up and give up? Are you confident in your ability? Or do you beat yourself up and then affect your game negatively? They'll also look at your communication and how you do with your teammates. So are you communicating well with your teammates or are you relatively silent and not communicating with your teammates? And another thing to throw in there that scouts will be looking for is do you play for the team or are you in for the personal glory? So this ties into a few things that I've already mentioned, but are you someone who's going to be greedy, selfish, and only in for personal glory or are you more concerned about what's best for the team. Okay, next is a bit obvious, but are you standing out on the pitch? Put it this way, if someone was late to the game and came and asked someone, so who's playing well, you should be their number one pick. They should say, oh, that guy, he's been doing everything. He's been getting on the ball. He's, you know, he's been very attacking, but he's also worked hard in defense. You want to stand out as much as you can so that it becomes obvious that the standout player or best player on the pitch is you. So how do you do this? Are you involved in the game a lot? Do you dictate the tempo? Do you make things happen? Do you set things up? Or are you someone who disappears in the game? Are you not getting the ball? Are you shying away from it? So make sure you're someone who's getting involved, making things happen, uh, dictating the play. Um, this may be, um, if you're playing defense, obviously this will be a little bit different, but we'll discuss that in a second. Next is how is your physicality? Scouts are going to want to know, can you handle the physical aspects of the game? So do you use your body well, or do you just get pushed off the ball very easily? Can you ride a tackle and then keep moving forward with the ball, or do you just go down under the slightest bit of contact? Okay, so those are some of the general things that scouts will look for in all players in every position. But let's go over some individual things that attackers need and some individual things that will def uh, defenders will need because it's going to be different per position. First, for attacking players, scouts are going to be trying to see if there's something special about them. So we talked about being a player who stands out. Well, what helps you stand out? Well, for attacking players, can you beat someone one-on-one -on -one and then set up a teammate? If you're a striker or even another attacking player, can you put the ball in the back of the net when you have a chance? How is your composure? Are you a dangerous player? Do you make things happen? Do you look like that player that can always score when going forward or make something happen? Basically, are you a player that can have a huge impact on the match? Can you provide that moment that gets your team back into the game, ties the game, or perhaps even wins the game? Can you do the unpredictable? Are you a one-dimensional player or a multi-dimensional player that can do many different things that keeps the other team guessing? For example, strikers, are you able to score? Do you have composure in front of goal? Okay, and for defenders, 
Are you solid? Are you composed at the back? And do you make the right decisions? So highlighting, do you make the right decisions? Do you clear the ball when it needs to be cleared? Are you calm under pressure when you need to be? Do you make the right passes out of the back? Do you avoid unnecessary mistakes? Are you someone who's going to play it safe when in a dangerous situation? Or are you gonna try and play out of the back and risk the other team perhaps stealing the ball and scoring? So they'll also look for how is your positional sense? Are you a player who gets caught out of position all the time, like Alberto Moreno, or are you a player who has great positional sense? So obviously, going through these things, there are many things that scouts look for when they are scouting a player. It is really essential that you develop what I spoke about earlier in this video. That is because the things that I covered earlier, like mentality, not only applies for a striker or a midfielder, but it applies for defenders, wingers, and even goalkeepers. Now I get it, as a defender, scouts are not going to look at your goal scoring ability. And as a striker, they're not gonna really be too concerned about your tackling ability. If you happen to be good at those things, it's just a bonus. But they will, for all players, look at things like mentality, work ethic, and so on. So make sure that you are developing those areas. Then you need to look at what areas do I need to improve in order to get better at my position. So for example, if you're a winger, you may want to take a look at improving your one-on-one -on -one skills. Maybe take a look at improving your crossing so you can deliver better balls into the box. If you can combine the early things that we talked about that all players need to have in order to impress scouts, along with the things that you need to develop for your position, it's going to be very hard for scouts not to notice you. So use all of these tips in order to develop your game. Some of these may take a while to develop, but things like work ethic, your mentality, you can change almost immediately, but you have to stick with it and be aware of your mentality. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I missed anything and if there's anything you think scouts will be looking for that I did not mention. Make sure you like this video and also share it on social media to help spread the word and help other players that need help uh, with impressing scouts that come to their game. If you're new to Simply Soccer, hit that red subscribe button because we release videos every single week that are designed for you to improve as a soccer player. Also take a look at the other videos I have down below. One is how to stand out at a tryout, and the other one is how to stand out at a tryout and what not to do. So one is what you should do at a tryout, and the other one is what you should avoid. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.